this morning we'll be looking at a topic titled a good from God a goal from God a goal from God that is our topic this morning and our test is from Psalm 34 verse 7 the angel of the Lord encamp round about them that fear him and deliver them during World War II, Captain Eddie Rekin Baker and the rest of the crew of the B-17 in which he was flying run out of fear and this and the teach in the Pacific Pacific Ocean for a week. Nothing was heard of him. The newspaper reported his disappearance and across the country thousands of people prayed. Mayo Lagodia, Lagodia asked the old city of New York to pray for him. Then he returned. The Sunday paper headline, the news, and in an article, Captain Rekin Baker himself told what had happened. And this part I will hesitate to tell. He wrote, except that there were six witnesses who saw it with me. A ghoul came out of nowhere and light on my head. I reached up my head very gently. I killed him and then we divided him equally among us. We ate every bite, every bit, even the little bone. Nothing ever tasted so good. This good saved the life of Rekin Baker and his companion. Years later, he was asked to tell the story personally because it was through the experience that he came to know Christ. He said, I have no explanation except that God sent one of his angels to rescue us. During a ministry I've heard of or read literally thousands of similar stories. Could it be that these were all hallucination or accident of fate or luck? Or were we angels sent from God to perform certain tasks? I prefer to believe the latter. God will always come at that point when you need him most. He will always come to rescue you when you are there in need of him. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, Lord of hosts, I bow at your holy throne. I pray for you to send your ministry in the spirit to protect me from my enemies. I cannot live in this dark world without being surrounded by angel of light. Hold me in your might and because I am your child through Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless this word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for another exhortation. Till then, stay blessed and stay safe.